It's the largest construction ever built on our planet. Work on this ferionic project is well underway. Located in the Neom region of northwestern Saudi Arabia, the Line, Trojana, Sindala, and Oxagon are four projects that will form a futuristic megalopolis designed to make the country a world leader in tourism. The Line is the flagship of the Saudi government's plan. As a result, the $500 billion project must live up to the country's ambitions. The line is 170 kilometers long, 200 meters wide, and 500 meters high, with the aim of housing 9 million inhabitants in 2045. Planned for completion in 2030, a NEOM video released in October 2023 showed us that the work is well underway, where last year we saw only holes dug in the ground and excavations in progress, now we see an army of cranes in action, shovels and trucks galore. We can even see that the piles that make up the city's foundations are being laid. You can see that these numerous steel elements are being stored for installation in the near future. By the end of 2024, over 30,000 piles, each over 50 meters deep, will have been placed to form the foundations of the line. However, it's only on a tiny part of the segment that progress is so great. In December 2083, we can see that excavation work continues across the mountains. On the ground, multiple videos confirm that excavation is not about to stop. For good reason, a large part of the line's route extends through the mountains of the Neom region. Now it's on to the construction site of the Hidden Marina. This is set to be twice the size of any other marina in the world. It will be able to accommodate the world's largest cruise ships. This marina is located on the opposite side of the line from the sea. Ships will therefore have to pass through the buildings. As a result, it is a major technical challenge to create a waterway 165 meters wide through buildings 500 meters high. Cruise ships, such as the Icon of the Sea, will have to be able to pass through. Work began in April 2022, and the first section of the marina is already making impressive progress. The marina should be open to residents and visitors by 2030 at the latest. It is currently the most extensive infrastructure excavation project in the world. Workers have already moved over 90 million cubic meters of material. Let's take a look back at the line, and more specifically at the progress of work on the project's backbone. The spine is a hyper underground rail route that will allow travel from one end of the line to the other in 20 minutes. In December 2003, a worker filmed the rapid progress of the tunnel. Compared with the rest of the site, the spine appears to be the most advanced part of the line. However, the project faces a major problem. The technology for this train still doesn't exist. It should reach a speed of 510 kilometers an hour in 2030 years. Yet, it is still only a prototype. To get to the line from the four corners of the world, the country is counting on the construction of two new airports. One is the Red Sea International Airport. Operational since September 2023, work on its five terminals is nearing completion. In 2030, the airport should welcome one million passengers a year. The second is King Salmani International Airport, which should be handling 120 million passengers a year by 2030. Work on this airport has not yet begun. In order to supply the spine and, more broadly, the line with electricity, the project will use 100% renewable energies. To achieve this, it will benefit from wind and solar resources, as well as the world's largest hydrogen plant. Estimated at $8,004 billion, it will be capable of generating up to 600 tons of clean hydrogen a day, enough to power 20,000 buses. In the summer of 2083, we could see the hydrogen plant taking shape on the shores of the Red Sea. At the same time, we could discover that the installation of the wind turbines was also progressing. In January, the first wind turbines were delivered via the port of Oxagon. At the same time, the installation of a large-scale wind farm was progressing. This will power the line's first units. These electrical pylons are currently being installed to link them together. In any case, even if the quantities of electricity to be supplied seem inordinate, it's highly likely that the country will succeed. 
In the future, the city could benefit from projects similar to the solar power plant recently completed in the United Arab Emirates. Begun in 2018 under Chinese leadership and completed in 2024, the project includes the world's tallest solar tower. At 260 meters high, it allows light rays to be spread over 3,002 million photovoltaic panels. However, even if the line does one day equip itself with equipment like the one we've just seen, we can still wonder whether Saudi Arabia isn't playing with greenwashing. The ecological cost can be estimated at 128 billion tons of CO2. Between the thousands of construction machines and the phenomenal quantity of steel, glass, and concrete, it's safe to say that the carbon offset of such a project will not be achieved anytime soon. Not to mention the impact of such a barrier on local wildlife. Whether for land animals or even birds, a whole region of the world is cut in two. In addition to the project's environmental impact, it's important to remember that the line means 9 million people living in the middle of the desert. It's also 9 million people who will consume water on a daily basis. To meet this future demand, the city will use carbon-neutral desalination plants. Named the Solar Dome, these plants will use water evaporation to desalinate seawater. At the construction site, the multiple domes for water storage can be seen being built. To complete the line in 2030, thousands of workers will be required. As a result, two workers' towns were built, Noom Community 1 and 2. Hundreds of housing units, a soccer field, a tennis court, a hospital, and a delivery system were built. However, it's with an aerial photo that we notice something strange. The worker's town is built on the layout. On the face of it, this might be explained by the fact that the city is temporary and will be dismantled to make way for the construction site. But in reality, it's the proof that reveals that the project won't be completely built in 2030. For it's hardly said anywhere, but what's under construction is none other than the first phase of the line. To see the entire 170 kilometers emerge, we'll have to wait decades. The city is divided into 135 modules, each 800 meters long. Given the scale of the task, it's logical to assume that Saudi Arabia will build and finish only some of these modules. Among these 135, we already know that there will be the 45, 46, and 47, which are located in the marina. The Trojana project is currently under construction in a mountainous region in the northwest of the country. With peaks reaching 2,400 meters, this is an area with a naturally more temperate climate than the rest of the region. The $520 billion project will comprise several different areas, as well as an artificial lake. Announced in 2022 and scheduled for 2026, it's clear that the deadlines are very ambitious. The Desert Kingdom will host the Asian Winter Games in 2029. In October 2083, excavation and rock shaping work were underway to create the freshwater lake. Two months later, in December, we can see that the machines were busy earth moving the entire site. At the start of the new year, just like the line, a team of top-level pilots uses a state-of-the-art helicopter to complete key construction tasks. Now it's on to a more advanced construction site. Located on the Red Sea coast, Oxagon is to be the maritime and industrial part of Naom. It will be divided into several segments, each housing a specific sector from research into renewable energies to solutions for food and water shortages. Ultimately, Oxagon will be the world's largest floating structure. Begun in 2001 and scheduled for 2004, work has progressed well. In October, earthworks were completed and the Naom port was operational. The roads were also completed. In 2024, everything goes much faster. Workers are pulling cables, installing container conveyors, and building sheds. Located on the Red Sea, Sindala Island will offer a host of tourist attractions, including a beach, yacht club, and hotels. This ultra-luxurious, ultra-connected artificial island is destined to become one of Neom's first attractions. Begun in December 2002, Sindala is probably Neom's most advanced project and will be ready to welcome tourists from all over the world in 2024. 
The contrast between October 2003 and this year is significant. Nature has given way to concrete, and hotel complexes have sprung up all over the island. This is the only Naom project where we can actually make out the final result. If you're still not convinced by all the projects we've just looked at, seven other less ambitious but equally extraordinary projects will complete the Naomi region.